classroom translator for the day. To use this app, the teacher does not know speaks, and the app picks up the words and translate, translates into sign language for the deaf person. And um, it also like puts the words under the sign language in case they can't read it. It also translates it back. It works a lot like a Siri on your phone, right? It just has added sign language so that they can understand. Um, it's pretty easy to use. We, uh, we already pretty much came up with everything that we've used. Uh, we're thinking about adding a second mode where you can actually talk back to them in using sign language or uh, you can type it. Uh, still got some development. So our market, um, basically through our research, we found out that two to three uh, children per 1,000 are born with hearing loss um, and that 90% of deaf children are born to hearing parents. So the hearing parents not being deaf probably had them learn sign language. Um, it you know, could take a long time to learn. So this makes it a lot easier. Um, so basically, we don't have the money to create this app, right? It takes uh, a lot of money to come up with uh, a coder, uh, people that know sign language, stuff like that, right? So what we're asking for is 200,000 25% equity of our company, Major. So the way that we will approach our market and our profits, right, is we are making a free and premium mode of this where we're gonna base it off of demand. So if you have a free mode, maybe you can only use it 10 minutes a day, right? So if you're using it in a classroom all day, if you're deaf, you're not gonna be able to keep using it. So that's where the premium comes in, where you can use it unlimited, unlimited time for three bucks a month is what we're aiming for. Um, so yeah, that's it. This is Wise Guy. This is a classroom translator for the deaf. It can also be used to facilitate conversation and this is what we need. Basically, we looked at what's out there um, and accessible with a phone or a, uh, basically every smartphone. And what we found is there's nothing like this that uses sign language and text. Most of them either use um, only text, which you know, if you're young, you might not um, learn words and letters before you learn sign language. So to help when you're younger, um, there is an app out there that uses sign language, but it's mostly for learning. It's not for facilitating conversation and use in a classroom. This is uh, right now the only thing out there that is used for this task. So explain to me again how this would work. Let's say you're I'm deaf. Explain to me one more time. Is it on your phone? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, it's an app on your phone. Right. So when you open it, um, it picks up voices that say I'm talking to you right now. You have your phone out, you have the app running. I'm talking to you, and what it does is it takes what I say and it turns it into sign language, and under the sign language, it writes out what I'm saying in English. So if you <coughs> don't understand words and you cannot read, you can understand the sign language and vice versa. But I have to have the app on my phone. Yes, sir. I mean, it could work on it. So is there a, a way to translate this Good question. So there's a lot of voice recognition software out right now, and so what we're what we plan on doing is just building off of that. So it would be a lot easier, or it would be very easy, just to pick up any voice because um, the software is already out there that does it well. So we just build off that. For example, my phone, I can I, I get my voicemail, and I also have it that comes out and it's written out. Um, so my voicemail can talk to me, but at the same time, it's in a written script. So 
that's what you're saying there. Yeah, basically, it comes in about a bill. We do the sign language about the district. So what is that for? And what is that for ultimately looking at is return on the money that we put into it. So part of my concern would be that you, you haven't come up with any kind of uh, idea on what that return might look like. I like your idea I th uh, and I like that, but I think you have more of an idea that you're selling to people than a uh, program that you really see go out there and, and, put, and put in place. So we probably need to know a little bit more about it. Here's probably what you can make off this thing. Um, I think I'll pass it. Yeah, I, I agree with Mr. Cox. I do think it's a great idea, particularly you know, if you were to add that two-way communication, but I think at this point, from a, a budget perspective, it may make sense. I'm the same way. Um, I think if we had more specifics about your, 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 your return, how you plan to get there, uh, you talked a little bit about uh, two or three children out of a thousand <coughs> have uh, are hearing impaired to some degree or may be completely deaf. What, so what is your total market? plan to start regionally? Do you plan to go nationally? Could you potentially go worldwide? Which I think you could. Yeah, absolutely. I, mean, I think you've got a good idea. I think you need to come back and say and refine it and have more of a specific business plan so we can see what kind of return. Because right now, if I put in a dollar, I, I just can't see from the, take, take your idea, convert it into a model and see if, and see if these are all alive. Um, but I really applaud you for your thoughts. I think you got a really good idea. And um, you put some time into it, and I appreciate that. So thank you. Are you excited? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Possibly. Yes. Uh, part of your, it's just like the phone I had, as I said before, in my voicemail, I have a script that comes on. So I would concentrate business on being able to have the deaf person respond back to you and how that can be done on the app because I think
think Stephen was signed when he was on, on it at this point. I think that's fairly possible. And fair, maybe fairly easy, actually. But the response back is probably where the effort's going to be. So in, in that case, I'm willing to give you the 200. But I want 40% equity. I want to serve on your board and work with you on this. And uh, see where we go from there. That's great. <laughs> <laughs>